What's up, people? It's your man, Black Cobra, back once again with your Wheel Life EUC gear. Today, we're gonna take the InMotion V11 suspension electric unicycle, and we are gonna swap out the original foot plates that came with it, and I'm gonna throw on some Merlin Fish spiked foot plates. And on top of that, I'm gonna throw on some vicious grip tape. I'm not the first one to do this, but I've been waiting for a while. Now it's time to get it done. Let's go. All right, so hopefully this should be uh, relatively easy. I've seen it done before. Uh, I did it on my Monster V3 previously. So uh, you can see I was messing around with the edge trying to see how, what the condition my pedals are. I have scraped them a few times that I didn't really realize. Some of the paint came off here and I probably should um, probably repaint the edges, but not today. <laughs> All right, so what I wanna do, I'm hoping I can do this without having to heat them up uh, to pull off the grip tape. What's crazy about this is I thought it would be a lot easier to get off. However, it seemed the InMotion grip tape was on there really, really well. So it took a little coaxing, a little nudging, a little prying to get it to actually finally come off of this pedal. Apparently, InMotion puts just as much attention to detail into putting on grip tape as they do with assembling and quality control on the rest of this EUC. All right. Whew. That was uh, a little more labor intensive than I thought, <laughs> but it's done. At least one side. <laughs> Now we just pop this plate out. Uh, <laughs> if you plan on making this alteration, I would suggest sticking with the screwdriver, not the drill. These screws are easy to strip. And because of the Clark pads, I can't get into that last one. I might, yeah, I'm actually gonna have to remove them in order to get in there. Change tools. That's why I probably should have put Velcro underneath those in the first place. <laughs> all right, so, all right, so that's done. Let me just I'm gonna pry up the plate. There we go. All right, so we take the plate out. I wish, I wish I was able to make that cut out. And I guess I could take something and cut it out because I really like this rubber uh, that, that they put in here, the rubber insert. I'm gonna hang on to it because I definitely like that. Uh, um, I think with the Merlin Fish spiked foot plates and the new grip tape, I don't think I'll have to worry about any I won't need that. All right, nice. Sits in there perfectly. All right, I'm gonna do the other side real quick. Be back in a sec. All right, so of course, the other side came off super easy, but you know, you live and you learn. So here we go. Now we're gonna take the grip tape. I'm gonna open this up real quick, and then we will see what we are going to do. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, don't tell me this is resealable. 
after I already start cutting. <laughs> All right, pull this out. Let's see. Will this be able to do a one sheet? I think so. Yep. All right. I really have to say a word to the quality of this vicious grip tape. I hear a lot of EUC riders talking about it, but now that I've got some on my wheel, I just want to tell you firsthand, it's amazing. All right. I'd like to go ahead and put the grip tape on now before having to put it on here, but I can't cover up the holes with the grip tape until after I put it on the EUC. So here we go. <laughs> I was a little worried I was going to strip it out using that drill, so. And there it goes. Oh. They are very easily strippable. I felt that one right there already feel like a little bit of stripping going on, so I gotta be careful. Better tighten it down without snugging it too, too much. By the way, if you're looking to get any of the things in this video or mentioned in this video, any of the pads, the pedals, the plates, the EUCs, all links will be shared in the description box below. Now I'll just go ahead and finish up the other side. So now I got the foot plates all installed and uh, they look great, especially because I sprayed them black already. Um, but we are gonna throw the grip tape on top and then we're gonna try and use this to punch the holes through. Um, either way, uh, you could do that or just step on it, keep stepping on it and then they'll, they'll punch through on their own as well. Uh, I'm gonna start on this side. Let's see here. <clears throat> Same thing. Let's sit it in there. The thing is trying to make sure you get it nice and close to the edges so that when you start punching it through, it's sitting just how it should. Now, I don't want to start punching it through until I'm pretty close to perfect, which is hard to do, of course. All in all, I will just have to say that this is a really easy process. I'm glad I did it. I wish I hadn't taken so long to get to this job. This is something I could have done quickly any day and I'm glad I finally got it done. All right, okay, this is right up to the edge there. It's just right here. There's like ever so slightly a little lip, but you can see that. Wow, that's, that's incredible. I love the look of this grip tape and the feel of it. Um, you can see this one was already getting grayish. <laughs> and now I have that nice black brand new grip tape, which I love. So I'm going to put some Velcro on the sides and put this a little bit lower. I wanted it a little bit lower so it's tighter to my feet. Um, I also have the side pads. I may do that as well. But that's it. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what it looked like uh, and how easy it was to throw the Merlin Fish 
pedals and the vicious grip tape onto your V11 if you were looking to do it. Um, there was a couple of other videos already, so I know that you might have seen it before, but it was my turn, so I figured I'd take you along for the ride. I hope that you got something out of it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, uh, if it helped you at all, uh, or if you just like coming by to say hi, go ahead and pop a comment down below, hit the thumbs up, hit the notification bell, hit the subscribe, all the good stuff so that you can come back again and check me out in the next one. I'll be doing a couple more this week, hopefully things that I know I wanted to do already. And now I may be able to squeak out the time to get it done since I can't go outside and ride. That's the part I hate, because you know I would love to be outside riding. I may squeeze in a ride or two anyway. Um, the problem is we keep getting rain and snow and sleet and hail and freezing weather. And I love to ride, but I don't want to go out and get hurt. Still got a family here to support. And if I get hurt, it's a problem. So again, thanks for coming by. Hope you liked the video. Go ahead and take a quick peek. I'll give you a close up on these foot plates. Uh, and how they look now. I love them. I'm super happy with them and I can't wait to go out and ride them. I may go upstairs and just ride around in the living room. Who knows? <laughs> Until next time, if you're out there riding, please gear up. Please be as safe as you possibly can. I really don't want to see any more EUC riders getting hurt unnecessarily. Until next time, remember people, ride hard and keep your wheel. Peace. Let's just test it out real quick. Ooh. <laughs> Not only does it feel good that way, but it feels good because my foot just fits underneath. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is what I needed. <laughs> I needed this at the rally. I would have been even faster on those tight, tight turns. Yes, the grip tape, listen, listen, listen. The grip tape with that Clark pad or side pads, whatever pads, holding your foot on top of that, of those studs and the grip tape, the vicious grip tape, home run right here. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs>